Hi, I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. It's late, late on Friday night, but you know what the fact of the matter is, is that the money, mm, it doesn't care what time of day it is. It wants to make sure that you're paying attention. So we've got more news, here we are. Other banks have reported what I would consider to be good, not great, but good quarterly earnings so far. We've seen probably better than good quarterly earnings from the Bank of America. We've seen good earnings from JP Morgan and average earnings from Citigroup. Today we also got earnings from Wells Fargo. It hasn't been as good for Wells Fargo. Once the most valuable bank in the world, and that's not long ago, that's a year removed from now, Wells Fargo is falling far, far down the chain. Earnings per share of a dollar and four cents beat the street by one cent. Revenues of 21.93 billion missed by 460 million. So revenues beat marginally, they missed, but it was marginal. So I'm not taking these headline numbers to say that either of these are poor. The big, big part about what Wells Fargo's value lost is, is that they had this trading scandal. And ever since the trading scandal happened, their community banking, the actual retail banking has been tepid. I mean, there's just no two ways around it. I believe it was once like $3.2 billion of the revenue that they generated. And now it's, it's fallen like 31% to like 2.23 billion. So, I mean, that's a, it's a considerable tumble. So Wells Fargo, which was once at the absolute top of the heap, as far as value, it's a, uh, it's, it's having a tough go. Some of these other segments aren't looking good either. Wells Fargo closed the day today, 5369, uh, down 2.75 or something percent. It wasn't, it wasn't a huge fall, but Wells Fargo is sitting in the middle of their 52 week trading range right now. I mean, if I'm not giving advice, but if you own Wells Fargo, you probably wouldn't make a trade, but you're probably not buying into Wells Fargo at this point either, right? You're, you're kind of just sitting there. You're hoping that they get this turned around, but the scandal was so severe that just the way it looked in the media and the way it looked to a lot of their customers, it, it, was, it made people very standoffish to do business with Wells Fargo. So uh, net interest income was flat. Uh, Non-interest income was down $200 million. Uh, mortgage banking income down $100 million. Total loans were down $5 billion. That's, that's a monster number to be down. I mean... It doesn't even matter if Wells Fargo had really tightened up loans at all to just be down that much in total just goes to show you how much people are not as willing to deal with Wells as they are with, with other banks. I mean, they've, they've lost a lot of customers. There's just, it's a terrible situation to be honest with you, but you kind of make your bed, you lie in it when you're not doing your due diligence in house and making sure that everything's on the up and up when things like that get out there and customer sentiment starts to say that we don't necessarily trust you anymore, man, you can fall and you can fall really fast. Uh, total deposits were up though. Deposits were up 5.2 billion. So I mean, the people who are still with Wells, they're still there. There's a lot of people who understand that, you know, like any kind of scandal that took place has been corrected now. There's still quite a few penalties. I believe, you know, like Wells Fargo in Ohio, is, there's a whole bunch of red tape as far as Wells Fargo in the, in the state of Ohio. There's a lot There's a lot to do with that. That's a big, long story. But Wells Fargo, I mean, they're trying to pull themselves out of it. This is not a fantastic earnings call. Probably the worst of the banks so far. But you can't win them all. That's the main thing. And Wells Fargo had to be the loser in this Friday night. I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Leave a thumbs up for this video. Leave a thumbs up. Why not? For all the videos. And leave a comment. Let us know what you think about Wells Fargo or any out of the banks that have uh, reported earnings so far or earnings you're looking forward to or anything else you want to comment about. We just love hearing from you. Have yourself a fantastic weekend.